Hey guys, I'm back and we're going to do a video on something very interesting. Now in some of the other videos that I created, um, I talk about cancer living on sugar, right? Uh, but cancer also can use another fuel, okay? So it actually, actually has two different types of fuel. So if we actually understand the nature of cancer and the difference between a normal cell and a cancer cell, we can actually gain insights on how to control cancer and eliminate it, okay? So let's just take it from the beginning. Um, what triggers cancer? Well, you have radiation, chemicals, stress, and there's a wide range of things that can actually initiate cancer. But what happens is these things trigger damage in the mitochondria. So the first trigger in the chain of events is damage to the mitochondria. What is the mitochondria? It's an energy factory that basically produces all your energy in your body. What happens next is that the body then, in its attempts to survive, adapts the metabolism. The entire metabolic system is adapted in a cancer cell, going from a normal metabolism to something that's more primitive. And it's a compensatory type thing where the body is compensating from the damage and it's called fermentation. Basically, you ferment sugar. So you're breaking down sugar as a fuel and, and without oxygen. Now there might be oxygen there, but cancer cells don't use oxygen. So we have fermentation of sugar and an amino acid called glutamine. So cancer can live on glucose or glutamine. Cancer and tumors cannot live on ketones. Okay. This is why the ketogenic diet is very, very important to stop fueling this cancer. So we want to cut the sugar down and feed the body ketones because normal cells can live on ketones, but cancer and tumor cells cannot. But we also have to confront glutamine. So you might think, well, I'm just going to avoid glutamine in the diet and I'll be fine, right? Well, the problem is glutamine is so widespread in your diet, it's almost impossible to get rid of it. It's in meats, it's in eggs, it's in fish, it's in vegetables, it's in nuts, it's in seeds. So what are you going to eat, right? Now, there's some amazing research being done right now using the ketogenic diet with something called Don, which tends to inhibit glutamine. Okay, so it's a, it's a chemical that you can consume that will block this right here. Uh, but there's some side effects but it sounds promising. So it's just, the research is just beginning right now. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of this in the coming years, but the research right now is quite startling on the combination of doing the ketogenic diet and blocking this amino acid in the complete destruction of cancer cells. And I'm going to put some links down below and it's a quite fascinating, but there are things that people can do right now to reduce glutamine. Okay not eliminate it, but reduce it. For example, green tea has certain chemicals that will inhibit glutamine. And peppers, all types of peppers, also have certain properties that can inhibit glutamine as well. But the biggest thing that will reduce this is intermittent fasting. So in summary, the key with cancer is understanding cancer, and the problem really is in the damaged mitochondria and the fermentation, okay? and the fuel sources and then dealing with these fuel sources because the problem right now is in the last 40 years there's been billions and billions of dollars spent on cancer research with very little progress if any at all okay so this is very very exciting where this is going and more importantly it's the prevention of things that can trigger cancer avoiding chemicals eating healthily eating organic keeping your stress down avoiding excessive radiation to keep your mitochondria really really strong combining with a healthy ketogenic plan, okay, consuming a lot of leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables that can actually protect the mitochondria, very, very important, and intermittent fasting, okay? All right, and I hope I increased your awareness on this other source of fuel for cancer cells. Thanks for watching.